Okay, it's time to start the session uh, with uh, technology on. No doubt about that, no doubt. I think that there would be variation in the in spectra of repeats. Uh, I would call them individual variations, not massive variations. That is, the major things like major expanding triplets would stay because it's dictated by physics. The slippage, stability of slippage structure. Yeah, well, strategy of uh, of accommodation of those stupid repeats uh, is such that uh, the nature uses all possibilities to really use them for, for good. And it could be that plants specifically like uh, proline rich proteins for whatever purpose. All right. Then I, I answer the following way the protein sequences are exceedingly degenerate. That is, you could build the same protein structure with the same function with practically completely different sequence. And therefore, you could manipulate by amino acid composition of proteins very, almost very freely. And what is the reason of having too, too much of prolines? I don't know, maybe plants benefit from that. Uh, we would say they do benefit. We may not, n not know why, but they do benefit. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. I, I think it, uh, it should be very easy to test your theory on repetitive protein like, uh, uh, like a collagen, say. But I don't, uh, don't remember the, the, the triplets uh, you yeah. used in collagen, so maybe you do. I don't uh, remember. Every third is glycine. That's so, right. Uh, uh, every, every, almost every third, uh, third is lysine. Right, right. A lot of chlorine. So uh, maybe if you, if, if you take a, 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 a if, you, if you will see all these aggressive uh, triplets again, so it's, it will be something uh, similar to this polyproline trials. By the way, CGC or proline is aggressive. Mm -hmm. yes, it's a GCC, GCC, GCC repeat. Yes. But yes. using it rather. Yeah. Now collagen is not used in plants. No, but in animals. But in animals, it might be So animals, therefore, utilize that disaster in their own purposes. Yeah. Of course, nature trying to, to, to make best of uh, whatever happened to them. Yeah. Uh, I, I just uh, I wonder if just uh, some kind of uh, error in formulation or so. You say okay, life is uh, descent with, with, with modification. Descent with modification. Um, it's evolution. No, it's evolution, but but well, it's it well, what you said. Under under variation. With uh, with variation. Variation, yeah. Under variation, you could uh, could use word mutation, 
changes, evolution. But you said in your last picture, you said life is what is going on in this genome. Yeah. And then within the cell, so the cell as if as if cells were just the envelope. Yes. For life. Yes. Well. I, I myself, I myself didn't like this idea that we are not life. Life has those parasites which live in us. I didn't like that idea, and therefore I formulated the idea of symbiosis. But uh, morbid symbiosis, painful symbiosis for both. sets of aggressive uh, triplets uh, within uh, normal uh, organisms, thermophilic organisms and cryophilic organisms. I suppose that there should be some very yeah, yeah. large shift. I think that uh, there, there should be some differences, but the table of uh, occurrences of repeats, the f very first table which I showed, is calculated on the basis of all messengers, including everything. Therefore, these are general. This, uh, they, there might be de deviations. Some wouldn't like uh, certain type of repeats. For example, GAA repeat is uh, actually, as a pathological repeat, not very frequent. There is only one disease registered with GAA repeat, while others, a uh, whole list of total maybe two dozens. So. Yes, but most of this sequence are from normal organisms. Yes. Uh, so it uh, would be very interesting to, to uh, yes. concentrate. To make a spectrum. Thermophilic or cryophilic organisms. Yeah. I suppose that the picture will be uh, quite different. Yes, yes. No. Uh, analogical. But different. There will be different substances. There would, yes, there would be individual variations. For example, I could uh, theoretically imagine that some organisms uh, wouldn't uh, say like uh, repeats of purines because of whatever reasons. Then that GAA disease will be excluded. this question but there is a general thing against which nobody would be able to argue namely in the very beginning quite likely not only two bases were existing but maybe five six seven bases utilized in different frequencies it was taken care but by natural selection later on so that at the end survived only those four basic basis. Even today one could easily incorporate, for example, uh, bromdesoxyuridine, and then uh, I guess chloro chlorouridine also could be, a whole organism could be replaced by chlorouridine instead of you, instead of thymin. And they survive. Not that they feel good, but they do survive. Concerning those uh, growing exons, first exons, uh, where where is 
at the initial material of the city. I, I would say that the, 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 uh, that the coding sequence starts always the same, and that these repeats just come up in the, uh, in the very beginning uh, and not changing the coding sequence. I tell you one exciting thing which I learned literally a few days ago. And this is that initiation of protein synthesis may start without a UG at all. Where at the repeat CAG, which is aggressive repeat. Yes, but nowadays, uh, usually it is AUG. So that's right. And no, it's not. The proteins are quite, uh, uh, quite conservative as to their sequence. So if you, if you, if you show that the first exon is growing, it must be the sequence which it, it is, it's a part of the exon, but it's not translated. Is it so? Uh, I don't know. It could be translated if it is in frame, and if it could initiate without AUG on the sequence CAG, CAG, CAG. Then it will be legal exon. Later on, it may change, acquire. You don't know examples. Well, I don't know examples. I don't know examples. But uh, one should look to that. And uh, what I would do, again, if I would have a manpower, I would synchronize not only the beginning of first exon, but the end of first exon and see. Whereas there I have an elevation of repeats. In other words, my expectation is that on all exons you get elevation at the ends of the exons, elevation of uh, the tandem repetitions. And then you throw them out into the process. That's right. They are in the process of acquiring That's from... Illegal right. Acquiring from introns or throwing away two introns. functionally neutral sites, or almost neutral. We don't know what are functions of heterochromatin. Maybe they are no less important than protein coding functions. And then repeats wouldn't go there. They wouldn't be allowed there. repeats in the same place. Do I understand correct? In independently Yes. You see, uh, if the site is neutral, then you would expect any repeat to emerge there. Therefore, all others being equal, you may find different repeats right there at that site. So I saw that some aggressive Physical 
Again, we don't know the defense systems. Maybe there is a defense system which doesn't allow them to emerge. Right. So this is a case of candidate defense system to find out what, what's going on, why those aggressives are not allowed. of telomeres. Therefore, they, they are lucky that uh, they are not just a symbiont, but a useful one. <coughs> so then, what about telomeres? What's the question? Okay, so you think that, for example, aggressive treatments are prohibited. That's why they have Telomeres have important function, and the aggressive repeats on the territory of telomeres would not be allowed, I would expect. I don't know. I don't know. This is this question to you? Did you did you see in telomere regions aggressives? In telomeres. Yeah. All right then. So thank you very much once again. Uh, thank you. Uh, great discussion as well, and uh, you are welcome to join us uh, to pop for a drink. My pleasure.